All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab is in the house and welcome back to the channel. Look at this today. Yes, I'm in the house with the Kultrotex Varn 3, one of my favorite knives ever. Uh, this is a beautiful thing. It's something that I bought in the past, uh, uh, then I sold, then I regret uh, the, the, the selling, and then I had to find another one and I chased it, and uh, look at this, I got one back. Uh, but this one is not as good as the other one. Like You see, like, I mean, it's crazy smooth, but we're gonna try and see if we can perfect uh, the action on this one. So as you can see, this guy comes um, with uh, custom bits, but they are kind enough to include the tool. So, uh, which we're gonna use uh, something like th with like something like that, and very, and I mean very carefully, just start like that and just unscrew this which then I'm just gonna use my hands. So that is one. And this, uh, probably I should also do this. So I'll be like super gentle because I, I don't wanna ruin anything. I'm already sweating guys because it's like not really stable. So. Hmm. Yeah, because like this is never gonna work. Like will never work just with my hands. So I need to use some torque, but you see like this is very wobbly. So I really am not stable with this tool. Oh, alrighty, so that was tight. So let's do this uh, uh, show side and this lock side, even if it's the same. So let's try the pivot here. So let's try maybe like this. So the knife doesn't move. This is, oh, that worked actually. That's pretty cool. So this is show side. Let's see if I can push this out or not. Should I disassemble that? Wow, this is really tight. Guys. Wow. This is properly tight and I need just to take my time. Hmm. Here we go. Here we go. Wow guys, this is crazy tight. Anyways, anyways, we are done. We are through that. I see something jiggling, something moving. I just want to go slow. Here we are. Look at this. Blade is out. Bearing is out. And that is it. That's the spacer. I mean, check it out. That's some spacer going on. We're gonna grab a little bit of uh, rubbing alcohol, like in these uh, alcohol uh, swabs. And we're gonna go ahead and clean. Uh, let's start from the back spacer. Nice. It was about time. I was looking forward to this moment because this guy is, guys, is like a, a fantastic, I mean, just look at the back spacer. Just machining this part is like crazy. So this is a company from Russia, Kultrotec. They do pretty cool knives. Uh, they do some variation of this one, like just crazy, um, beautifully customized uh, Svarn 3, which is like a fantastic iteration. By the way, check out the full skeletonization going on on this. Uh, scale it's just gorgeous so I'm just gonna clean here stop in 
yeah, it needed a thorough cleaning, this boy. I'm not gonna, you know, no, one, two, three, four, five screws to keep together these scales. I'm not gonna do this. I just want to clean the area here and here mainly to change the oil and uh, and do a little bit of uh, see if I can improve uh, the action all right so I mean wow look at these pieces look at this keyed in on one side for the pivot just goes here keyed in on one side just for the backspacer right there and keyed in only on one side also for the uh, stop pin uh, right on this side so all the keyed in uh, parts d-shaped uh, pivots are on one side which is beautiful it's not confusing it is well thought well designed so let's grab another one of these and let's clean up the second scale <clears throat> and uh, we're gonna check in a second like a, a little bit more close up uh, these washers because that's uh, a unique uh, feature something that I've never seen on any knife that I've taken apart like these kind of washers are look at this so you see those pockets are very cool big pockets for the lube so they can store lube uh, and uh, provide uh, some smoothness uh, continuity for your knife action and it's a uh, it's a pretty cool thing here we go so this is nice and clean now And the washers are also keyed in. You see, you can't, can't mistake the positioning of these. That is very, very cool. So this guy is out, this is out, and let's clean the blade as well. So uh, Kultrotec is uh, really making some serious, serious knives, guys. Uh, uh, they have a yan hook tr uh, treatment, uh, which are, is proudly displayed on the blade, um, which helps like reach uh, to reach, I think like 64 HRC for th in this case, which is incredible for M390 steel. Uh, really, really high hardness edge retention is crazy. You guys actually can check out uh, some of the videos they released uh, on uh, I think it, I think it was about this knife like just cutting through rope like forever basically so really really cool uh, indeed so this thing goes there look at that just fell into its place and uh, now we are uh, pretty much uh, good to go I'm just uh, cleaning this up and this is the moment of the truth so um using uh, i want to use 10 weight nano oil so oops well that's a lot i'm just going to do three drops like that make sure that a little bit goes in all uh, the holes uh, which is great and then we got the backspacer in with the two uh, little uh, pivots for that Blade is in like so. Let's just keep it here for now. And then we do uh, this side and the pivot. And uh, we do just a little on the detent ball. So lube part should be done. Let's hope that this stays in place. This is beautiful, guys. Let's check it for one more time. Very cool. And by the way, like you see, these are like 
oh inlays on the scales like gorgeous <laughs> it's just gorgeous all right let's do this so scale is back and that looks legit to me so I'm just gonna start uh, from the back like this and like that for the handle screw it's not the easiest but just there you go so now let's do like this first okay and this first there you go now we're gonna tighten those or we're gonna do everything now let's do everything later because we're gonna tighten everything back together in a second so this is the pivot screw and this is on the lock side there you go all right now it's time to do a little bit of adjustment like this and like this okay and now we're gonna tighten everything up very very carefully so I'm just gonna put this here and uh, there you go nice nice very cool and this guy here okay looks tight it was like super tight before and now it's tight wow this is probably too tight definitely too tight so let's undo a little bit this side all right and let's do a little bit less tight this side okay there's no blade play exactly Oof. blade is you tell me and the action on this thing oh yeah this boys girls ladies and gentlemen is what I'm talking about this is the smoothest knife phone washers I've ever tried let me know if you have uh, anything smoother than this on washers and um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.